let us be divided for the symbol of our strength is unity. Let us show them we can fight with the symbol of our might as we go marching on. In 1956, the Australian waterside workers loaded and unloaded a total of 49 million tons of cargo. Timber, foodstuffs, machinery, vehicles, wool, and land. Barry reckons he just doesn't believe in working for the ship owners. Barry's also known as opium. Opium being a slow-acting dope. Her lucky character sets out for work on a five o'clocker full of the best intentions. But at five minutes to blow up, we find him a bit the worse for wear after a pleasant little session in the rubbery. Quite a character. But this is the sort of caper that could get his mates and his union a bad name. For instance, the press editorial writers feel duty bound, in the public interest, of course, to be on the lookout for this sort of thing. <laughs> If Tiddly doesn't arrive at the starting gate soon, he's likely to find himself scratched because you wouldn't want to know. Sack em plenty's the pano on this job. Sackham decides it's time to take steps. He politely suggests that Peter better go home. Well, let's face it, he'll hardly be an asset on the job. But Pete, true to form, has his own ideas. <laughs>
breakaway Ned is a great believer in shorter working hours. And of course everyone agrees that a shorter working day is a good thing for everybody. But Ned is working shorter hours one out. The time is on the up and Ned is about to make a run. If he can dodge the eagle eye of Sackham. mysterious Trump. Why is he so interested in what goes on in the hold? Could it be because since Ned's departure there are now only five men below? We must wait and see. Meanwhile, Sackham is hot on Ned's trail. Away Ned doesn't know it yet, but he's heading for a sticky end. has nearly finished his sums. He hasn't worked so hard since he added up his profits. He's got the answer, though. Next thing you know, he's in the ear of a big wig legal trump. He's got proof that five below can do the work of six. The legal trump is very fair. I've heard enough, he says. If five below can work that fast, the lot can work like this. <laughs> has got a lot of good ideas about how to run everything and he wants everyone to know. He's got the good oil on government policy, social credit, Jack Lang, Russia, the Epsom favourite, the Ceto Pact, Farlap, Britain's beer and anything else you can think of. He's also an expert on union policy and he's got a lot to say on that. Today his topic is the union executive. I don't care what you say, they're not worth a crumpet anyway you look at them. Wouldn't spit on you if you was on fire, blah, blah, blah. He's been saying this for 25 years and 17 executives. As an appetite spoiler at lunch hour speeches, the roaster is a world beater. He's off again. Now it's female psychology, the Kinsey Report.
these four jokers here are, are a small minority in a large and industrious labour force. They're really good blokes at heart, aren't you? Maybe you didn't realise that in the long run you only cruel yourselves, your mates and your union. Did you know that? Well, the past is past. Let's look ahead. There's 26,004 of us, and we've got a lot of things to do. Are you blokes going to be in it? Union's here to stay, cause we'll fight for our union till the end.